PSRR or power supply rejection ratio is a measure of how well an LDO attenuates input ripple across a band of frequencies. So what does that mean? If there is a if there is a small ripple that is placed on the power supply value, the ability of the loop or the LDO to reduce this ripple to extremely small values on the output is called the power supplies ability to reject the output. So that is the rejection ratio and this rejection ratio is given as what is the output ripple over the input ripple and this is typically given as how much in the value of percentage or in db so it's a gain factor which comes into consideration so how is this taken into effect if you see whatever is the ripple that is applying in the frequency spectrum between uh, close to dc or we could say 10 hertz all the way till 1 megahertz you expect to have a large dc gain such that your rejection ratio is better. So you will have a higher PSRR value and that will be as a given in dB. The value is dB because it is a ratio and it is not a unit quantity where it can be given as dBm or dB micro. Okay. So this is the rejection ratio. So how is it determined? The PSRR is determined by the output impedance of the pass element and the ability of the LDO amplifier to reject the supply noise. So what you see here is your output impedance C and the ability is the gain. So how do you typically look at it? So typically you look at it, what is the gain of the amplifier? right? And uh, as the gain goes higher, the ability to reject becomes better of the amplifier. Okay. Uh, typically, we have seen that uh, places where we have used uh, PNP devices actually exhibit a much larger feedback control or uh, power supply rejection as opposed to your PMOS devices. But since in this uh, study we are doing more on PMOS devices rather than PNP devices, we will see that uh, PSRR is relative a little better, a little lesser than what is the best. 